So here's some of the cross stitch kits. I have a lot in this bin right here. I have more in this bag. I have some more over here. <laughs> I also have this fabric. I have this piece of framed needlework. I have this piece of, ooh, done but not framed needlework. It's upside down. Um, I do have some other of um, the Simpich elves. Those I did not, I think I actually had two more that I didn't show the first video as well. Those are already listed. Maybe I will just insert photos. Yeah, I have a ton of stuff. See all that stuff? So now I'm going to go, look, I still have some of the buildings from the first haul that I did not get photographed and listed some of them I did those I did not uh, it's it's a lot guys so I'm gonna go sit down and show you the purses and I think the shoes today and then we'll do the clothing next time all right guys so I am just sitting on the floor with this giant pile next to me and I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna start with the purses okay so anyhow first one and now the purses were priced I kind of bundled so this was all of the purses I'm going to show you these some I got the first day some I got the second day some I got the third day um I'm not even going to like read you the prices on the tags because in most cases I did not actually pay that price uh but I will say I know in the first video part one at that point I had spent 443 dollars that Friday and then I went back Saturday and I went back Sunday and grand total, I ended up spending over $700 total at this sale. If you guys um, watch my what sold video this week, you'll see that I already sold um, several things that I had gotten listed. A lot of those were cross stitch kits, but a couple of them were some other hard goods that I had showed you in part one. Uh, I did purchase some other hard goods Saturday and Sunday, but I don't even, like I said, I don't even think I'll be showing. It's pretty much like those other Simpich dolls, which two of them I already have listed and kind of put away. And I don't know. This is the biggest, biggest haul that I've ever ever gotten from one place. I mean, I just have so much stuff. I didn't expect this. I mean, a sale like this only comes along, I don't even know, once once in a blue moon. So I did not expect to get the mass quantity of stuff that I did get. And like I said, I'm just not even sure how to deal with all of it right now, but I just want to start filming the, the haul so I can get the rest of it processed. Um, as quickly as possible. Although I will tell you it is going to take a while because I am one person and I have a ton of stuff now, um, which kind of stinks so because I do still like to go out shopping. So I want to get this done as quickly as possible. I do have some other things going on this week, so we'll see what I can do. But I will say that I got a lot of great stuff, a lot of great stuff and Super, super happy about it. I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. Let's just start the haul. Maybe I'll remember it. So first bag, I thought this was really cute. Super sparkly. It is Joan Boyce. So it's got a dust bag with it. This lady shopped and shopped and shopped. I mean, her house was packed. Oh yeah, I did not film there. I know I mentioned that before. I just, I did not film there because... At any given point, I had two full Ikea bags I was trying to lug around. And to get those through the house and the crowd as it was, it was just, it was tough. It was tough. Um, and, I mean, eBay is what I was buying for. So, 
that was just a priority for me to get the items that I wanted to get that I'm going to be able to make a profit on um, because, you know, this is my full-time living. So I, I just decided not to even attempt to film there because it definitely would have hindered me as far as getting the items that I wanted to get. So with all that being said, back to the handbag. Really cute. This one's not super high end, but it's still a really nice bag and I love it. Okay. I did get this little Vera Bradley. They had quite a, quite a few Vera Bradleys there. I pretty much did not focus on them, but I did, I did get this little one. Someone ended up taking the rest of them on um, the final day I saw, but uh, this is a lug bag and these appear to sell pretty well uh like i said the bags actually i probably paid the most for it's got an extra strap inside here don't think this has ever been used i don't think any of these bags were hardly ever used if they were used at all i'm pretty sure most of them were not ever used but anyway um yeah definitely the bags i probably paid up for more than anything else that I purchased. So this is, this is a really nice soft leather. Uh, what is this one? This is a B Mikowski. It's got the dust bag. It's got the little like paperwork thing. Unused, completely unused. This woman did a, a lot of online shopping by the looks of it. This is a really nice bag. And this is another B. Mikowski, super, super soft leather, beautiful interior. I mean, like perfect condition. Uh, this is an Oriani bag. I love this bag. This is so cool. I just love it. Now these Oriani bags can sell for a really good amount of money. There's definitely money in Oriani handbags. I think um, I sold one. I found one and bought it and sold it over the summer. I think I got $80 for it and that one was used. These are basically new. I mean, this one even has, this one has the tag. So this should be one of those that will sell for maybe even like $100 or more. I will have to look up this particular style. It's got kind of like a color block thing going on but yes this is Oriani as well this one is this one's another Oriani with the tags so pretty excited it's got the dust bag inside the other one might have the dust bag too but I didn't check so this is a basically yellow leather and another Oriani. Here is another one. This one doesn't have, this one doesn't, this one isn't new with tag and it doesn't have the dust bag, but it still looks to be in perfect condition. So leather, leather purse. Here is another, I believe this was another B. Mikowski. It is like a satchel kind of like a like a matte gold tone hardware really nice bag this is a Amy Amy Kestenberg these seem to do pretty well I do have mm, sorry I'm trying to reach here I do have a dust bag. I have a couple of her bags, so I'm not sure which one I'll put it in. Sorry if the lighting isn't really great. I didn't want to move my light kit from my eBay room. So I'm just using like my regular overhead lights in, in this room. This right here is a Tignanello. So we have a Tignanello leather handbag. Here's another one of these lugs. Again, these do okay. This is like a key kind of like an attached stretchy key fob. I kind of like that. Um, I feel like, oh, here it is. I thought I was missing. Now these I definitely paid up for. I got two of these Dooney and Burke Belvedere bags. These I did pay up for. I paid like 
These were 36 bucks a piece. But, um, so these are definitely, they have the wallet and everything. And I sold, and I mean, these are new. These are new with tags. These are like $300 bags. I actually sold one of these used over the summer for $120. So, and these are new. These are brand new with the tags. So I am super, super stoked about that. You said black and white. And then I got this Kurt Geiger, which you could wear long or you could kind of pull the other strap up and wear it like that. But it's got this really cool like jeweled bird head. And it's just, uh, it's just really cute. It's got the dust bag with it. I mean, this should go for over a hundred dollars as well. Really nice bag, really, really nice. I mean, you know what? This woman bought quality stuff. Even her collectibles were quality. Um, here is another Amy Kestenberg. This style, I, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it looks to do pretty well. And then I have another B. Mikowski. This is a studded black leather, really nice bag. Again, beautiful condition, beautiful condition. Okay, and then we have another B. Mikowski. Look at that. That's like camo, rocker chick kind of stuff going on right there. Then I have another, let's see what this is. B. Mikowski or Tignanello? It, this one's Tignanello. All of these are brands that are commonly sold on QVC, this um, Tignanello and B. Mikowski. I mean, they are sold elsewhere, but I know that they're highly sold on QVC. This is an Isabella Fiore. I had one of those over the summer and that sold, that sold well. I'm trying to open this thing. It was a little tough to open. It does have the dust bag. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful bag. It looks like it has a little indentation right here on the, like the leather trim or whatever but that isn't anything major i mean it's got like woven like handles and everything this is like a, this is a beautiful bag not my style but it's it's a beautiful bag i can appreciate the quality of it so this is another oriani bag so stoked at all of these that I got. This one's really cool. It's kind of like an asymmetrical. It's got like this lacing detail. This right here is not crimped over. Like that's literally how it was made. So that was really kind of cool. And then I have another B. Mikowski. This is a smaller, smaller purple one. Bernie is, Bernie is protecting the house and all my purses. Do you hear him? barking with his little his little bark so this is another lugs bag and it's got an extra strap so this would be shorter and then it's got the longer one this is the samba style the lugs have like the style names inside there so yep i think that's it for the handbags Although I may find another one in the bottom of like a clothing pile or something. So I'm definitely not going to rule that out because like I said, I just bought so much stuff. I was just like piling into the bags, emptying the bags in the car, going back in. Such craziness. All right. I am going to pause for a minute and try to slide the shoe bag over here and I'll show you what shoes I got. 
Okay, so let's now dig into the shoes. And I will tell you, the shoe room, the handbag and shoe room, it was like this really large room filled with handbags and shoes and clothing, mainly handbags and shoes. And I went there last. I didn't even know where this room was. Uh, this was like the first day and I, you know, ran into the one room to get the department 56 stuff. I can't speak. And I was looking at photos later again online and realized I should have I should have found the shoe room immediately because I feel like I would have made more money on the shoes than the department 56 stuff, believe it or not. But there were tons, tons of Alegria shoes, sandals and whatnot. Someone else got all of those. So I feel like I got decent shoes, but someone got some great shoes before me because like I said, this was like the last room I hit on Friday. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll show you what I got here. So this is a pair of Earth and Earth is a really, you know, decent brand. They sell for quite a bit of money. These don't even look like they've ever been worn. These are a pair of just brown buckle detail boots. These are a nine and a half. I thought her shoes might've been a nine, but they're actually nine and a half, at least what I've seen so far. So those are nine and a half. I have a pair of Skechers here. Uh, these are the air-cooled memory foam. There's probably more detail to that, but I'll have to look the um, serial number up later. These are nine and a half though as well. Really nice purple knit. These are used, but very, very gently used. I have another pair of earth boots, like a ruched kind of leather. These look like they may have been worn, maybe not. I don't know, gently, pro yeah, I think they have been. Gently used, nine and a half as well. So these all came from the same lady, so I'm sure most of them are a nine and a half, unless, you know, sometimes certain brands fit you differently. I know at least with me. Uh, these are a pair of Ortha Heel, which is kind of like, I think that's how they labeled them, like pre-Vionic. Vionic and Ortha Heel are like the same company, but these are, these are used, but I still grab them anyway. Again, they are a, oh, these are a nine. These are just a nine. So those right there, they're orange. I don't know the lighting. This is like soft lighting, so it's not bright white lighting. All right, so here is another pair of Earth shoes. These are like more of a, I don't know, like a booty, like an open toe, like a cage booty type thing. Again, maybe gently used. I mean, look at the bottoms, look at the soles. There might be like a tiny hint of wear back there, but very gently used, if used at all. Another pair of Skechers, kind of like along the lines of the purple ones. These also look like maybe they were tried on in the house. I mean, I don't know. Probably a nine and a half, yep. These Isaac Mizrahi Live loafers, they're a little smashed from being in the bag. They're floral. Definitely, definitely don't look used. These are a nine and a half as well. Maybe they, maybe, maybe very gently, but yeah. And then I got these, these are a size 40. So probably a size US nine. These are Miss Moose, New York City. These are kind of cool, like a gladiator type sandal. Really, really nice pair, and I don't think they've ever been worn. Then a pair of Skechers, again, don't really ever look to have been used. Wedge heels. All right, I got cut off there for a second. 
Okay, so these are Earth Originals, Earth Origins, I'm sorry, Earth Origins, made by the same Earth company. Um, now, there's a Walmart brand that makes Earth, Earth something, those you don't want. But these, um, these you do want to pick up. <laughs> these are pretty good. Again, unworn. And these are... nine and a half so alrighty then I have a pair of Vionics these do look like they were gently used kind of like a green snake print with some jewels on the top here's another pair of the earth kind of like booty type deal just in a different color and these are the Aurora Dark Slate. I like when the shoes have the style name inside. All right, so then I got a pair of Clarks. These are like a metallic sandal, gently used. Again, these are probably a nine and a half. They are another pair of earth booties these are also what are these these are the pegasus and they are a nine and a half these uh look i even like they even have like a leather detail on the heel there so that is what they look like beautiful beautiful shoe unworn I mean, so crazy, so crazy. All right, then I have another pair of Earth shoes. These are a black suede. I really don't think these have been worn either. They do need to be cleaned up a bit. You know how suede gets when it's, um, you know, just kind of in the, just kind of tossed in with other shoes or whatever. So it's got a little bit of lint or whatever on it. But another pair of Earth sandals. And then I got another pair of the Miss Moose. These these have been used. These are the same ones as the orange, but they're in black. These you can see have definitely been used. They do have some marking to the footbed, um, but I think they'll still do okay because the style is like really cool on these. I just like that style. I'm obviously gonna have to put like an insert in here to make it look better. Okay, then I did grab these other Vionics. These are definitely used as well, but they have like the ankle strap on the back. I don't think I've ever gotten a pair of the Vionic sandals with the ankle strap. So these are, you know, adjustable. They have the Velcro. They do have wear to the footbed, but they're still going to sell. I did get these. These also kind of re definitely remind me of like the 80s with this slouchy kind of whatever that detail is. These are B. Mikowski. So really nice pair of boots. Let me go see if I can find the other pairs. Okay, I'm back. So I, I did have three more pair of shoes. Um, let's see here. The first pair is this pair of Skechers Go Walk. And, hmm. I don't know. I can't tell if these have been used or not. Maybe very gently because if they were worn hard, that, that would not still be there. So yeah, really nice condition on those. Then I picked up this pair of, these are also extremely 80s to me. Uh, very slouchy, black leather. I think they're leather. Yes, they are. Oh, and these are a 10. Maybe they run small. These are a 10 medium. It's the only pair of 10s I've seen so far. These are Carlos Carlos Santana. New. These have not been used at all. And then the last pair is the exact same pair as the brown pair. The Earth um, Pegasus. But in black. 
it's the pair with that little leather detail on the heel, which is hard to see here since it's black down there as well. But these have been used, those you can tell, because they have a little dirt on them, but very, very gently. So that is it for the handbags and the shoes. I am gonna do another one. I'm gonna film the clothing next separately just because there's quite a bit of it, quite a pile of it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything else as far as the um, as far as the cross stitch kits because I just don't think I'm gonna go through one at a time. I probably have like 200 kits and I think that would be really boring to sit there and just look through every single kit. So if you, if any of you are into crafting, cross stitching or whatever, a lot of that stuff is going to be coming to my eBay store soon. So keep an eye out for that. I do have a couple of beaded like necklace kits um, and a couple other crafty things, but most of them, 99% are cross stitch kits. So that's going to be, that's going to be coming. And that one piece of, um, I have like six yards of like an African um, fabric. So yeah. All right. That's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of this haul. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Keep an eye out for part three of my haul. Most of the stuff coming up is um, like anywhere between, I think, XL and 2X. So it is some some more plus size clothing, some really great pieces that I'm super excited about. Uh, so anyway, this is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Until next time. Bye.